all doesn't seem to be well in Europe, from a rather divided EU that's yet to take concrete measures to an ordinary citizen taking to the streets. The countdown in the continent has begun and it's expected to get much worse from here. In a fresh round of protests, activists and political parties took to the streets of Germany and France on Sunday, openly dissenting against the bloc's sanctions on Russia. Why? Simply because an immediate result of the sanctions has meant that inflation, food prices and overall cost of living has gone through the roof. Let's find out more. I want Russian gas and oil. Those who remain silent today will freeze tomorrow. Posters like these are the core of what the people are demanding in Germany. According to reports, three such rallies took place in Germany's capital city and the largest one was organized by the far-right Alternative for Germany party outside the Reichstag building, the lower house of the German parliament. Police estimate the turnout of these rallies at around 10,000, while counter-protesters were just about 1,500. Chancellor Olaf Scholz and his coalition government are right in the line of fire. On one hand, fellow EU nations have questioned Germany for its solo approach. On the other, his own citizens have demanded further relief. After a 200 billion euro package, the government seems to have made up its mind for another measure. According to a draft policy proposal seen by Reuters, the government has been advised to give a one-off payment to households and small businesses to pay a month's energy bill. This measure planned for December would cost the government around 5 billion euros. Mind you, the overall 200 billion euro package will be counted as debt by the government, further adding to the crisis. Experts say the advantage of a one-off payment is that it provides immediate relief but still doesn't address the core issue – high demand and lack of supply. Even on the electoral front, Olaf Scholz seems to be losing ground. While his Social Democrats party won with a huge margin in a recent regional election, his ally, the Free Democrats, failed to even make it to the German parliament. Political analyst Philip Coker said the result had the potential to destabilize Scholz's coalition. He said, the FDP will now be considerably less likely to back any policies that do not fit its program. This could even lead coalition partners to seek support from opposition parties. Let's get out of NATO. That's the clear message in France. This at a time when the country is facing a massive fuel shortage thanks to workers in the nation's oil companies going on strike. Protesters accused President Emmanuel Macron of supplying weapons to Ukraine and demanded his resignation. While Macron and Scholz have called for peace at various points in these protests, nothing seems to be working. And not just this, other parts of Europe, including UK and the Czech Republic, have also seen similar demonstrations. Do you think the protests will aggravate